just kind of start from the beginning. Um, in the first half, why, why do you think the offense wasn't functioning real well? I think it comes down to third downs. Um, in those situations, you got to convert. Simple as that. Um, yeah, I think that was the biggest thing for us in the first half. For both of you guys, why do you think this team continues to have such slow starts on both sides of the ball out of the game? Uh, I mean, really no excuse. I mean, we prepare week in and week out. Just got to come to play. You know, just, um, just got to learn how to be a 60-minute a team. That's all it is. Uh, we are the team we were in the second half and the first half. I mean, it's a different ball game. Um, that's pretty much all it is. Just need to come out with the right mindset and not have to wait for any momentum swing for us to kick it into gear. We need to come out in that gear already, and you know I feel like we'll see changes uh, once we once we apply that that fix. Wanda Perry, how do you two uh, as players and the players who have been on teams where <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you have been able to put together the first 60 minutes. How do you translate that to your teammates? I mean, personally, I don't think we're far off. I think it's little things here and there on myself, other guys, everybody. It's a collective effort. Um, I didn't play my best today. Our team didn't play the best today. And this is one of those things you can't take any play for granted. Um, I'm not saying we did that, but that's just even with the fine details of things. Um, and just doing your job, and that's really what it really comes down to. And there was at times I didn't do that today, and at times other guys didn't do that today, and that's just something we can't take for granted. We can't take any one play for granted because we've seen the first uh, three, four, three out of the four games, a lot of times it's come down to one play. So and those plays are out there everywhere. They're here, they're there, and they're there to be made. We just got to go do it, and we just, like I said, we can't take any one play from the first 15 minutes to the last second, and like Jermaine said, we'll start seeing the results once we do that. Going to Adlin? I guess you kind of answered it there, McKenzie, but it both could go, but you first, McKenzie, and I guess Jermaine, but you're, you're not into moral victories at all, McKenzie, but how are you able to kind of keep things in perspective of what's happening and, and making growth? I mean, at the, at the end of the day, we play to win the game. We don't <clears throat> go through practicing Sunday through Friday to, you know, come up short. And we feel that pain every time. The past four games, we feel that pain. So there's no more victories here. We play to win the game. And we're going to keep practicing to win the game. And we're going to keep coming out to play to win the game. And like I said, we just can't take anything for granted. We can't take these precious Saturdays for granted. And I'm not saying that we do, but there's just got to be more of a sense of urgency for myself and the rest of the guys. Yeah, we don't know. Um, more victories aren't a thing in this locker room. Uh, we know what we have to fix. Uh, we just got to go out there and fix it. Like I said before, we, we do the things that we did in the second half and the first half. It's a different ball game. Um, we got we to gotta understand how to attack the game off the right way. Just not rely on momentum, not rely on anybody else to get us jacked up. We need to come out that way, uh, understand that that uh, all the hard work and all the things we did to get to this point, you know, we got to come out there and come out with that mindset that, that we're not going to lose the football game. Going to Brendan. Jermaine, following up on that, what, what changed for you guys in the second half? What worked well on defense that maybe you can, you can build on and then learn from and grow from uh, moving forward? Uh, I couldn't really speak on the entire thing. I think uh, the back end made some changes. I think it was just a choice. It was a choice. I, I talked to the guys at halftime. It's a choice. Um, when you backed into a corner, you could either curl up and get punched on, or you could come swinging and punch back. So, I mean, I think that's what we did. It, it looked, uh, to me at least, I got to watch the film, that we were winning more one-on-ones in the second half, and, and uh, people were making the plays uh, we were supposed to make. Um, like I said, if we, if we come out every game like that, then, I mean, I think – we, we can accomplish what we want to accomplish. Kurt. Oh, Mackenzie, I know you played the vast majority of the Jacksonville State game, but there's still a little uh, a sharing reps with Jordan. Is this being your first time playing the entire game? How much did that help you at all in terms of getting in a rhythm? 
Yeah, I, yeah. You, I mean, just the opportunity to be out there is amazing, and you know, I'm grateful for it. Jordan's a little banged up, so we roll with me the whole game. But you know, Chuba puts in the work, Tate puts in the work. We got guys that can go get it, and you know, those guys push me every day, just competing um, week in and week out. So I'm grateful for the guys that got in that room to push me and support me, even when it's it's not going great. So. Definitely got a great room, and it, like I said, it's, just, it's, it's great to be be out there, but it it hurts, you know. We play to win, so I didn't I didn't do a good enough job to get our offense going. We didn't score enough points to win, so I'm gonna keep working. Jermaine, do you think the second half can do anything for guys defensively, confidence-wise, or um, just for seeing that success in the second half? Yeah, hundred um. percent. We, we, what we put on film in the first half, we are that team. What we put on film in the second half, we are that team. We got to, we got to fix and get rid of the first half team. Um, I think our potential was shown in the, in the second half, but I mean, me and Mackenzie, as long as, as well as other guys in the locker room, we're, we're sick of hearing, uh, I mean, we got the potential to do this, potential to do that. We got to actually go out there and do it. Um, and it, it, it's a choice. It's a it's a team choice and an individual choice. Guys can decide to to give a little extra at, uh, every day at practice, a little extra in the film room, a little extra in treatment room. I mean, just sacrifice more. Take it, it'll help you take more pride in this. It'll help you come out to the game. Say we're not going to lose. I know what I did. I know what we did. So I mean, we know what we have to fix. We just got to go out there and fix it. A couple more going to Brendan. Mackenzie, a little bit earlier, you mentioned you guys you thought you guys weren't far off. Uh, I guess what are the things that you're seeing that leads you believe that, that you are close to maybe getting where, where you want to be ultimately? I think you see, you know, you see guys like Andrew Parchment making plays, uh, Pokey making plays. I mean, Jay Sean has just been amazing for us the first four games. Trey Sean. Um, <clears throat> You know, me, I, I feel like I kind of shot us in the foot a little, taking sacks and stuff like that. So, you know, I got to do better with that. But we're making the right strides. But, I mean, just here things are there. My eyes in the wrong spot on a few plays, um, which causes us to take negatives. And that can't be the case. So I'm going to keep doing my best to get better. And I know our guys are going to keep working because, you know, we've been grinding. And, you know, we're not going to stop. And I got faith in my guys. I think we all got faith in each other. Uh, it's hard not seeing the results, but you know that's why you come to work. That's life. Going to Ira. You know, with the uh, offensive line, basically five guys being able to play pretty much the whole game. What do you think it did for those guys? Did you see them finding some of that continuity that's been missing? Yeah, I think they did a good job today. Um, I think there might have been times where I created the pressure and you know I just got to do a better job just being settled in there um you know I watched the film but I thought they did a good job in the run game and in the pass game um keeping me upright and you know we're just we're gonna keep working like I said um working on our communication working on execution and like it's tough not seeing the results but all you can do is just do your best to trust the process all right thank you guys thank you thank you